Hi, I'm the connectivity engineer here at Data Logic Automation. I'm here to demonstrate how to connect a DS4800 or a 22K N scanner to a Allen Bradley PLC. Uh, we're working with a uh, Control Logic PLC running RS Logic 5000 uh, Ref16. The first thing we'll need to do is create a module for the uh, Ethernet card. So we'll right click, make a new module. Under communications, you want to select generic Ethernet module. I already have one made here. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, our command format is data sent. You input your IP address here, whatever address you want. Then here's our uh, connection parameters for assembly instances and the sizes for those assembly instances. Um, we need to use, and the assembly instances are for input 100. Uh, in this example, I'm using a size 32. Output, the assembly instance is 150. And using a size 8 in this example. Configuration, assembly instance is 1. And the size is always 0. Once the module is created, you can now go to the scanner using uh, the Genius configuration tool that comes with the scanner. I already have a session open here. When you first open, you'll see this window if you want to uh, use the wizard mode or advanced mode. You want to use the advanced mode. And after that, click on the get icon. You've connected to the scanner. This window will come up showing your make, your model, your uh, software revision. Just click close, and the Parameters Explorer window comes up. In order to establish communication to the PLC, you want to go to Data Communication Settings, CBX Gateway. And in here is where you select the type. We're using an Ethernet IP module in our demonstration here. So we're going to use, we're going to select Ethernet IP. Once that's selected, go to your line parameters. And in here is where you assign the IP address, the subnet, and the gateway for the scanner. Uh, here we selected static assignment. We have our IP address, our subnet mask, and our gateway. For the gateway, it doesn't matter if you're using a gateway or not you need to set a value, a generic value, in for the gateway. Um, in our example here, we just used 13.0.1.1. Uh, .1. After that, we'll click on Field Bus. And under Field Bus, there's Bus Communication. In Bus Communication, here you have the same input and output area sizes. Again, for this purpose, we used 32 input and 8 for output. Notice that it matches the same input and output sizes. So if input's 32 here, the input has to be 32 here. Uh, you can use whatever value. Uh, the minimum value I think you can use is 8. By default, there will also be uh, data flow control enabled. This is called the DAD driver. This DAD driver is used for uh, data resynchronization, data fragmentation, uh, flow control, and things of that nature. Um, but for right now, we're going to disable it, that way we can see the data in our PLC. You can read more about that DAD driver in the manual that's on the Genius CD. It's also possible to toggle the, tr uh, the trigger of the scanner by using uh, by triggering with the PLC. Uh, the parameter for that is under operating mode. Start input from field bus is the parameter we want to change. Let's make sure there's a check mark, check mark in that box. With all those settings set, we will go ahead and send this configuration by clicking the send configuration icon. That you send to the EEPROM, that way it stores permanently in the scanner.
You'll notice uh, the LEDs are now flashing on the Ethernet module inside the, uh, the CBX. This indicates that uh, power is on on the module and that we are awaiting communication to the uh, module. What's that? This is the sample program that we supply for uh, our customers. Uh, they're trying to work with the scanner uh, on a PLC. And the trigger bit for our scanners is output word seven, or I'm sorry, output word zero, bit seven. This is the trigger bit in the scanner that needs to be set if you're gonna use this particular feature. Uh, the next rung shows that whatever data that we read will be in the input register, and we're gonna copy that and put it in uh, a raw string. So if I toggle the scanner, you see we write a code. We'll go look at the input register. You see we have data here. I'm gonna change this to ASCII so we could read it. Here we have our header, barcode data, and terminators. Now if we look at our tag raw string, you can see data raw string, it's in here as well. Now I'm going to trigger one more time to show a no read. Toggling the bit, toggling off. Now if we go back, Look, we have no read in our input register. And no read in our raw string. Now, there's no need to really trigger the scanner through the PLC. You could use the regular photo eye as well to trigger the scanner. And the data will uh, present itself in the same way. Hope this demonstration was helpful to you. Uh, and just remember that this setup works with the 4800 as well as with our 2KN-based scanners as well. The setup is uh, very, very identical, if not the same.